What's up, my name's Matt and this is Pasteboard Review. Today, we're looking at Robin Hood by King's Wild Project. Check it out. All right, so Robin Hood's cool. It's a deck that opens sideways, and so the Solophane opens sideways as well. Very cool. So the tuck case is very cool. It looks like there'd be a lot of texture, but there's not a ton of texture. It's very flat feeling, no glossiness to it at all. Very cool little touch there, like a little something burned the back of the book or something. Um, the whole thing is embossed though, so all the gold on the front here and in the corners and the edge here, all that is all embossed. The Robin Hood is in gold foil on the front and the side. Oh, the side is not in gold foil, just the front and, the, and this side right here. And then when you open it, boom, it says aim small, shoot straight. And here we go, ready for this. Whoo, look at that. The whole deck is in cellophane. We'll get to that in a second, but look at the inside of that tuck case. Very cool. The whole edge of it looks like a book. It even looks like there's a spine. Very cool. Let's check these cards out. Do we have, we do have a pull tab, so it is not the bend and break method. Pull tab is a little harder to get to. There we go. So the first thing I do notice is that the cards are very clumpy, sticking together. I need to break each of these apart, it looks like. And I think that might have to do with, because the cards themselves feel very nice, but if you can see here, the gold foiling starts to stick and peel off onto the previous card just a little bit on the back of these. So I'm going to break all these cards apart real quick and then we'll take a look at them. All right, got them all unstuck here. Let's see, they are very stiff compared to a normal deck. That is definitely for sure. I feel like the cards are a little bit bigger than a normal card, but the cards are the same size. They're just thicker, it looks like. So, let's show, I'll show you here. This is a standard deck of cards. This is just the Magic Castle deck here. And then this is the Robin Hood deck. You can see how much thicker that is. Each card is quite a bit thicker. It almost feels like an expert playing card deck with how hard it is to get that going, but we do have gold foil here on the back and the faces. Gold foil on both sides. All of the fonts and everything, it's standard King's Wild, it's all 100% custom. We do have these cool ad cards, which make little mosaic scenes. Ooh, there we go, that is awesome. Ace of spades there, gold foiling across of it, bow and arrow, little amulet in the middle. Very cool. Going. We have our first set of court cards here. All 100% custom. Friar Tuck looks like Maid Marian. Robin Hood himself. Nothing else fancy on the other aces. Got the couple more court cards. Another court card there. Very cool. I love the artwork on all these. How there's little accents of gold foil across the entire face. That makes me see why it was kind of sticking together on every couple cards and kind of coming out in chunks. Very cool.
So from what I can see, it doesn't look like we have jokers at all. We just have these two ad cards that make the mosaic here, unless he's considering that a joker, but I would consider that an ad card because that's, that's more of like an art piece in my opinion. And it's very cool. I feel like it's laid out to be a vintage style deck and I know in old vintage decks they would have a single joker so it would have been cool to have like just one joker kind of sitting there. Each of the letters is drawn here to look like it's hand drawn. Love that. Each of these, kind of like the crown deck, they're kind of all filled in. It looks like it almost looks like a felt tip marker and then outlined with a sharpie. So it's got the dark outline with a kind of grayscale interior colored in. And the red kind of has that. It kind of shows up a little bit better on camera. It's very subtle in person, but you can kind of see there's a darker outline. With the red, a little bit lighter on the inside. This is definitely a very cool deck. Look how cool the back design is there. All that gold foiling, shimmer. And then across the border on the entire front is also gold foiling. And just these court cards are so cool. Little accents of gold foiling across them. Very cool, very, very cool custom deck. Loving it. If you got lucky enough to get your hands on one of these, congratulations. I'm pretty sure there weren't that many out there. They do handle differently than a normal deck of cards would. The finish on them is more like flat feeling. It doesn't feel like there's an air cushion or a linoid finish or any of that kind of fancy stuff. It is very much like a very flat finish. Very much more of an artistic deck than it is like a use this every day style deck. So I would say as a collector, you should definitely try to get your hands on these because just, just the tuck case even. And then this is just the standard edition. The limited edition is even cooler. It has like the arrow that goes through with the binding and everything. It looks very cool. And I believe there's a gilded edition as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I know for sure there's the standard and the limited, but he usually does a gilded as well. I would say for sure as a collector, you want to get these. As a magician, I would say don't worry about it unless you're also a collector. As a cardist, I would say don't even worry about it because these are very, very weird. They're not going to like doing cardistry flippy stuff with this, but they're definitely an art piece. I really like this little addition here of this little mosaic single piece. I've seen a couple other decks that do it where they add cards. I think in the Planets deck, they all, all the add cards add up to see the whole solar system. So this is a very cool little touch, a little gold border around it. I wish he would have added some little gold maybe in the sun so that it came together. That would have been really cool. but. Probably. Well, that's about all I have to say about the Robin Hood deck. Love it. As a collector, go get one. Go find one. Worth it to have it in your collection. And I will see you next week.